Hey guys, welcome back to the Central Ohio UFO Reporting Center. This is going to be a part two to a video I made a few days ago on how to be a good witness. In that particular video, I mentioned using an app uh, to identify things you would see in the night sky, natural objects, celestial bodies, like planets, stars, that type of thing. So I thought I would uh, make this short little video and show off that particular app. It is called Sky Map. Uh, for Android, anyway, I imagine it would have the same name for iOS, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'll put a link to the Android version down in the description of this video, as well as a link to the previous video. But here's the app uh, in a nutshell. Let me take myself off the screen here so you can see a little better. As you can see with the app, it's very basic. It's just like I said, it's just a screencast from my phone. When you get it, you'll have your settings and you want to calibrate. It's the compass. Mine's already done. You just follow the little instructions. It's not too difficult. Uh, also, if you want to search for a particular object and you're not sure where it's at, try Mars just for example. Now I'm indoors so this is not actually going to work too well plus everything's below the horizon line anyway. But as you can see uh, it has the red circle and you would just move your phone and follow the arrow and it'll line up identical to wherever that particular object is. And it's got all your filters on the side. You can turn the names on or off of things. I usually leave everything turned on. just makes it easier. It's got a nighttime uh, mode to make it a little easier on your eyes. And it's got some different uh, pictures and things you can look at. And you just click to find it in the sky. And it helps you locate, you know, whatever you're looking for. So I use that... Uh, some it, it comes in handy and like I say it's got pretty much anything you would want to search for in the night sky but the thing I like to use it for uh, the most is see an object in the sky whatever it may be you know as long as it's not moving it makes it a lot easier but even, like I said, Venus and things, a lot of people get confused. So you would take the phone itself and move it until you get the particular object you're looking at in view. And then you can click on click on it, whatever it is. And be able to zoom in and see exactly, you know, what you were looking at. Whether it be a planet, a star whatever so it just makes it extremely easy to locate uh, objects and you can go uh, back in the past if you want to look at previous objects in the sky just for curiosity's sake but you can go to your settings and it's got everything uh, sounds uh, location settings use your GPS it makes it a whole lot easier depending on wherever you're at and then, like I said, everything's pretty simple, uh, as you can see on the app itself. So, I just wanted to kind of put that out there. It's just a very simple uh, app to use. So you can see whatever's in your particular area in the sky. So if anybody's got any uh, questions or comments on this uh, particular app, uh, feel free to leave a comment below or even go to the website and let me know. But I think it's quite handy for many things. But like I said, if you're just curious on where something's at, say Jupiter, for example, and then you would just follow... You know, follow the arrow and it would take you to exactly where it's at. It's a lot more accurate, of course, when you're outside. But that just gives you a little basis of how it actually works. And you can look, find, like I said, anything that's in the sky. There's the sun itself and Venus and 
all the others, but so it just makes it uh, pretty handy, and it's a free app as well. So I'll put all the links to everything in the description. And if anybody's, like I said, curious at all about this particular app or any other questions on how to identify things in the night sky, or even the day sky for that matter, uh, like I said, just drop me a comment or a, on the video or on the site itself and I'll be more than happy to answer anything. And as always, I answer anything within 24 hours. So, hope you enjoyed the little short video, and any other questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.